Alright, here's an update. Um, it is December the 22nd. This is, the, I think, the second update for this tank. Kind of go through and got some um, green star polyp there. Growing real nice. You know, it's kind of weed, but it does well. We got um, some blue morph there. Some King Midas, that's the yellow. Some um, Sunny D. And then those are, I thought those are Armor God, but that's actually Devil's Armor. And then I got this little thing here that holds the frag plug. And it's got a nice, it's got a third hole right there. But it kind of lets it grow out and it can encrust over that. It's pretty nice. Got it off uh, Amazon. If you're interested in it, I can put it in the description there. Got a little um, emerald crab there who molted last night. Some more blue morph. Little cleaner shrimp is kind of going to town on it. Um, I have no idea what this is. I just got a frag. And then uh, more King Minus. And then I got some uh, orange. The orange there, that is Bam Bam. And then I've got some um, Rainbow. No, that's uh, Fruit Loops. Then over here we got some Utter Chaos. Two pops of Utter Chaos. And that's some Rainbow Infusion. Cornbread Rainbow Infusion. He's doing real nice. He's got uh, two little heads about to pop off him. About to come out. Purple tip. Uh, branching. Hammer. Two little clowns wanting to say hi. They're like, feed me, feed me. Golden Torch. Or not Torch, excuse me. Uh, hammer. Got the Tail Spot Blenny in here. He's doing great. The Duncan. I've had some bleaching as of late, and my I just hit my water parameters. And I believe that's what it has to do with, to be honest with you. Um, that that granted is like my least favorite coral in this whole tank. Um, oh, and then a, a, either a trumpet or I have no idea. But, uh, that's the tank. So some of the things I have on my tank I kind of want to go through is I've got the um, I've got coralline algae growing everywhere. It's day 110, I think, of this tank. And coralline algae started with uh, dry rock and then some, you know, the dry, you know, that purple painted dry rock too. Um, but I got some coralline algae from some uh, snails. You can see he's covered in it there. This is the Orbit um, IC Flow. If you look under my sump here, you can see um, I've got it all hooked up down here and you can kind of see a little bit so it's on a uh, surge right now and it's like looks like it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 like 70% 60, 70% somewhere around there um, the surge is up and down and then the surge is pretty short mm. keep all keep all my chemicals down here got my air pump back there for my protein skimmer the JBJ protein skimmer this is a bird's nest of cords going on right here um, and I can do a review on any of these things but I do have the uh, uh, the what is this innovative marine hydrofoil auto top off works really well um, unless it gets wet unless you get some algae growth on the probes but uh, it's not been bad. And then I've got, you know, this DIY bucket with the pump on it. Um, for Christmas, I got an auto top off unit. But I got a special thing coming soon. Um, I ordered the um, Red Sea Reefer 250. So we'll be setting that up. You know, I know there's several videos about setting that up already on the internet. But we're just going to do another one here. Um, it'll be good. So I hope everybody likes that. Um, we'll see if somebody wants to see kind of how my filtration is running in the back. I did a video on look at that, look at that skim right there. Look at how that's some dark skim. Mate. I got to clean that out. That's five six days right there. Um, probes, auto top off here. Probes. You can see some saltwater creep. Uh, the nitrate factory, which is a sponge, 
should I take? I have to clean that out a million times. And then there's my water probes for the auto top off. And you see this 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 top one here that the flashlight's kind of pointing directly at. That top one, if sometimes it will stay wet for a long period of time and it won't go off. So it's close to kicking on, but it won't yet. So that's pretty much the video for today. If you want to see a review on anything that I talk about, uh, the JBJ uh, protein skimmer, all that, I really don't have a lot to compare it to. You know, I'm a noob to this, so still new. Um, but you know, ask, ask, and I'll try to do some video on it or something. Thanks.